Assalamu alaikum. Peace and blessings be upon you, dear viewers. Today, we will understand and recognize the signs of Laylatul Qadr, the night of decree, a night better than a thousand months. As mentioned in the Quran in Surah Al Qadr, verses 1 to 5, this night holds immense blessings and rewards for believers. Let's delve into the signs that help us identify this auspicious night and maximize the blessings bestowed upon us. The Significance of Laylatul Qadr The Night of Decree, Laylatul Qadr, is a time of great importance in Islam. It marks the beginning of the revelation of the Quran, when the angel Jibril, peace be upon him, brought the first verses to our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. This night, hidden within the last ten odd nights of Ramadan, is a time of mercy, forgiveness, and spiritual elevation. Recognizing the Signs of Laylatul Qadr While the exact date of Laylatul Qadr varies each year, there are signs mentioned in authentic hadiths that help us recognize this blessed night. 1. It is a peaceful night. Laylatul Qadr is described as a calm and peaceful night. The tranquility and serenity are noticeable, indicating the special nature of this night. In Surah Al-Qadr, verse 5, it is mentioned, Peace it is until the emergence of dawn. 2. It has unique appearance of the moon. Some narrations mention that the moon on Laylatul Qadr appears like a piece of a plate or half a plate, signifying the uniqueness of the night. In Sahih Muslim, 1170, it is mentioned, Abu Huraira, Allah be pleased with him, reported. We were talking about Laylatul Qadr in the presence of the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, and he said, He who amongst you remembers, the night, when the moon arose and it was like a piece of plate. 3. It appears in last ten odd nights. Laylatul Qadr is hidden within the last ten odd nights of Ramadan, specifically on the 21st, 23rd, 25th, 27th, or 29th night. Devout believers strive to seek this night among these blessed nights. It is mentioned in Sahih al-Bukhari, 2023, narrated by Yubada bin Asamit. The Prophet, peace be upon him, came out to inform us about the night of Qadr, but two Muslims were quarreling with each other. So, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, I came out to inform you about the night of Qadr, but such and such persons were quarreling so the news about it had been taken away. Yet that might be for your own good, so search for it on the 29th, 27th, and 25th of Ramadan. 4. There is possibility of rain. There are narrations where rain is associated with Laylatul Qadr, symbolizing purification and blessings descending from the heavens. There is a narration in Al-Bukhari 813, where Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, where he did mention that he dreamed about Laylatul Qadr, and in that dream he had prostrated, and when he came up, his face was wet with rainwater and mud. 5. The sun rises without visible rays. The morning after Laylatul Qadr, the sun rises without visible rays, indicating a gentle and serene dawn after a night of divine mercy and blessings. In Sahih Muslim 762a, it is mentioned, Yubay. May Allah be pleased with him, said. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said. On the morning following Laylatul Qadr, the sun rises without any rays, as if it were a brass dish, until it rises up. In conclusion, Laylatul Qadr is a night of immense blessings, mercy, and forgiveness. By recognizing the signs and engaging in acts of worship with sincerity and devotion, we can unlock the abundant rewards and blessings promised by Allah during this auspicious night. Let us strive to seek Laylatul Qadr with unwavering faith, seeking forgiveness, mercy, and closeness to our Creator. May Allah accept our prayers and grant us the blessings of Laylatul Qadr. Thank you for watching. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.